Welcome back for another Pixie Talks review vlog. Pixie Talks, Pixie Talks, reviews and vlogs at Pixie Talks. Well, I said that I would follow up my Gargoyles review by also reviewing the third season. It's a separate review because the third season was done by a completely different studio with completely different writers and animators. So you can't really review it as though it were just another part of the series proper. So without further ado, let's dive right into Gargoyles, The Goliath Chronicles. Goliath Chronicles were going to be bad. I keep telling you, don't do it, Grace. People have died, Grace. But man, I didn't know just how bad until I watched that intro, and then I knew that I was in trouble. Okay, let's do this. After Disney decided that it wasn't doing well enough, they gave it to their ABC studio to try to give it one last kick of the can. And... We really wish they hadn't. Now with a whole new team of writers and animators, The Goliath Chronicles took a very different turn from the previous show and turned it into a humans versus gargoyles story about racial prejudice and bigotry. An anti-gargoyles group pops up that is clearly supposed to be based on the KKK and the show becomes almost exclusively about them fighting to get the public to accept them. This isn't necessarily a bad turn for the plot of the series, but it was a jarring change in focal points. But the idea there wasn't the problem, it was the execution. The writing for this season was utterly horrible and couldn't carry any decent narratives. I can't tell you how many times I shook my head at the dumb, nonsensical decisions made by both good guys and bad guys, not to mention that our cast of characters all tended to suddenly acquire character flaws out of nowhere from time to time. The whole thing was one bad story idea stew with way too many cooks spoiling the broth. Beyond the bad dialogue and bad narrative flow, this season just lacked the cohesion that prior seasons had. It didn't seem to fit together as nicely, and you just couldn't get behind Goliath as an awesome, in-control leader anymore. And, of course, the whole humans versus gargoyles thing kind of comes off like a big X-Men ripoff. But wait, there's... there's more. The animating team was also completely different and... Oh, you can tell. What was once a very good-looking, smoothly animated show was now clunky and inconsistent. Although stylistically the artwork is the same, it isn't done as well. Anatomy is often very off, the movements of the characters are stiff, and they try to do too many weird things with facial expressions. In the animating department, things kind of fell apart. Kids watching probably felt that there was a change, but couldn't quite put their fingers on what it was. But is there anything good to say about the Goliath Chronicles? Well, yeah. At its heart, the idea behind the quarrymen and the racial problems touched on some very good messages. It wasn't a bad idea to want to teach kids about not judging others by appearances and accepting those that are different from you. And of course, it's all the same characters you know and love from the previous season, so it's not like you can't get enjoyment from watching it. But in the end, all the positive aspects of this season are just borrowing from the previous ones. It's not like Gargoyles hadn't already touched on some serious heavy issues like prejudice and acceptance. It had just been a whole lot more subtle about it. And this season came with too much badly done work to make its messages really hit home. If you're a completionist like me, watching the Goliath Chronicles can be enjoyable, but if you're not, it's very easy to skip. And 
that's my review of the Goliath Chronicles. Now I've got the entire series done and man it was a wild ride. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to subscribe for more. Add me on Facebook and Twitter and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!